go back to the beginning. Did you want to do uh, to draw when yeah, you Yeah, I actually always thought that I, I mean, I was one of these kids, I'm sure you were like this too, where I just drew on everything all the time. Yeah, yeah. I was always drawing. So there was like every piece of paper, everything was covered mm -hmm. with stupid little faces yeah. were, from when I was like five years old until yeah, through high school. school and so, stuff, yeah. yeah. So just everywhere, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I always thought that that, and I was always thinking that eventually I would try to figure out a way to make money doing that, although I had mm -hmm. no... I had. I'm not sure how what you came, what background you came from, but I had. I knew nobody that had ever done no, anything like that. Like, and it was. It seemed like deciding to move to Mars to me, yeah. like in terms of the reality of. So in your family, no one was an artist. My uh, sister was an artist, but she was more of a fine artist. Mm -hmm. Nobody from before. I mean, maybe way way back that I don't know about. But yeah. Nobody in the immediate. You know, yeah. like a couple of generations. Nobody was involved. My dad was kind of a frustrated uh, writer, but he was. He, you know, had a, kind of one of these guys had a job that he hated, mm -hmm. so he he really didn't end up pursuing it, and I think he was always unhappy about it. And I remember being pretty young, thinking like, well, I don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't want to be like the guy who thinks I should have done that. So I, I kind of got in, at least got in gear to just always be doing something from a young age, either mm -hmm. drawing or writing, whatever. So, so um, you knew right away you wanted to do something that you liked. Yes, that's because right. You, you yeah. grew up with someone well, who did I, I think a lot of people, that. actually a lot of people I know have a similar story in that way in that mm. I remember the very moment that I, it occurred to me, oh my God, somebody has that for a job. Mm -hmm. And it was with Mad Magazine for me. So it was like, oh, holy God. I mean, somebody <laughs> actually is drawing this stuff and getting paid for it. It's like, why not do something like that? So that was, that was a huge revelation at age eight or nine or whatever. It was like, holy crap, you know, yeah. that's so great. Um, so that was kind of that. So then, so then after, but I really went to when I went to college. I went to this little hippie school in Vermont that has no grades and everything like that. I was I was kind of escape, partly escaping uh, my childhood, which was a little bit wacky during high school. So my dad is uh, was bipolar. So mm -hmm. during high school, he had his first few wild episodes where I was deeply involved in trying to figure out what the hell to do with him, mm -hmm. you know, my, mm -hmm. um, so it was kind of took over my life a little bit during that time, and then I, when I got out of high school, I was like, I, I'm going to like, well, I, I applied to one school, and I only applied to it because yeah. I had no grades, and I didn't want to deal uh -huh. with it, even, so I went there, and it was a place in the woods, and I just basically drew a lot of stuff, and wrote a lot, yeah. and it was really kind of almost like a therapeutic thing. So you didn't want to study, you kind of give up? I was just kind of, I, 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 in retrospect, after I left there, I thought like, well, in one way this is really good for me because I could do anything I wanted and I mm. pursued things that I even hadn't really pursued in high school. I didn't really, I was, although I was always drawing in high school, I didn't really draw in, I didn't take art classes. So I was, it was kind of like a weird, I was like a weird outsider in mm. terms of that, in terms of my, my school. So when I got into college, I just decided, okay, it was a place where you could make up your own curriculum. So I just was, okay. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna draw. That's it. You know. So you just pick what you like, yeah. basically, right away. Yeah. So that's what I did. So, but the, but the career plan was pretty much I'll be a starving artist. I mean, I had yeah. no. That was it. You know, I had no real uh -huh. idea about how to put that, all those skills or non skills into into practice. So I really just kind of felt like, well, I'll just be. You know, I don't really care. I I, I could live on almost nothing. I'll be a starving yeah. artist, and that'd be it. And then I, you know, had my first child, and I'm like, holy. I guess I may be, that's not, it's, a, it's a romantic idea to have to be a starving artist, but it's not that romantic to have a starving child. You're by yourself, <laughs> okay. So then I... So while you were in college, or...? or this is like right after college. Yeah. So I, I kind of, the next thing I did was, well, I, I decided, well, you know, I could probably be an illustrator. So I just put to, I threw together a portfolio, like, a, of kind of, it was during the like sort of punk time, so I, was, I put together a, a portfolio of pretty scratchy, mm -hmm. wild drawings, you know, sort of Gary Panter-ish. Stuff sort of, you've you know. done at that school. Yeah, 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 just, and I'd always done these little scribbly drawings on the side. I did, I did big paintings in, in college, but then I also did these figurative, you know, cartoony, sometimes mm -hmm. scribbly, whatever. So I just decided, oh, I'll try to get work. So then I was living in Chicago, and I just went around with this portfolio and started getting illustration work pretty wow, quickly. Wow, yeah, really? yeah, yeah. So it was good. It was like not a lot of money, but it was like okay, yeah. this is this is good. So you just how did you you find the names on? The, yeah, I mean back then it was like there's was no yeah. internet, right? So it was no. kind of like yeah, it was just like I I just looked up all the names of the art directors and the editors and all the newspapers in town, and, that, and even back then it was even. People have really only kind of worked in their own town. Too. It wasn't even like, yeah. you know, like it took a little while before fax machines came in, and then mm -hmm. we could actually like I could work for Washington Post and during you know places in New York and stuff like that. But at the um, at the beginning it was really like you know Chicago Tribune, Chicago Reader, all yeah. the like Chicago Magazine, all these places that were in Chicago. And so I just you were at least getting paid. Yeah, drawing. Yeah, and right. the, yeah. yeah. So how were you?